discuss today how to enable Microsoft Defender for endpoint in Intune. This topic, the continuity of my previous video. So how do we can configure our server uh, uh, in the Microsoft Defender? So I will just tell you how do we can do this one through Microsoft Intune. Okay. We need some pre-request before configure this one. I will show you what license we need. Okay. Configuration pre-request for Microsoft Intune. We need Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft DFA license a Microsoft Intune plan. Microsoft DFA license or Microsoft Business Standard. It's also worked. So these three license we at least we need to enable our Microsoft Defender through Intune. Okay. I will show you how to we can go for the license and purchase in the license. So for here and check the billing and purchasing service here we can click uh, search if I or I will search for into so into Then I will try to purchase Microsoft into service service. Yeah. I will purchase this license Enterprises Mobility plus Security EFA because this license already includes include Microsoft Indoon P1 license and also the Microsoft EFA Security Center. So I am already purchased. I will show you my license. See this my license license details Microsoft Mobility Security Enterprises and Microsoft Defender Point 2 and Office 365 E3 okay. after that first step I will tell you the step by step just to show I will show the my slides first step sign into the Microsoft Indoon Center Sign into the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. First, we will go for sign into Microsoft Intune Center. Endpoint Manager. Click the Endpoint Manager. Then Endpoint Security. Then the below the blade microsoft defender for endpoint click on here this one so here before i will connect that so is showing the last synchronization first if you have connecting first time but not showing anything after the connect only they will show you the synchronization and everything so after that open microsoft defender endpoint and create a microsoft account here we can open Microsoft Defend Endpoint Admin Console. Here you will click the console. Go for the settings. Click the settings. Then go for endpoint. Then here you just advanced future just on Microsoft into Microsoft Microsoft into console just on. after that save preference. Okay. Now your Microsoft into connected with our Microsoft Defender Defender. Just to go for check again in the Microsoft Intune admin portal, we will go for there. Okay, just to refresh. See now the system will be changed and it's available.
tabs okay after available we need it to on the compliant policy evaluation connect android device version 6.0 above microsoft just on it and endpoint security profile allow microsoft defender for endpoint enforcement endpoint security configuration just on it because if you have previous any device without a microsoft device, this one enforce to the configuration to your system and your client device or your client device and connect ios ipad device 13 and up just on it and connect to windows version just on it if you need any platform say you can okay block and support also you can and app protection policy if you need after that go to the down you need to create one configuration profile after this all step complete just save it okay then you need to create one configuration policy create device configuration policy you can create from here or you need to create from device windows you can create a policy from here also configuration profile already we clone here that says storage configuration profile go here here you can create the profile you can create from both set but only mention only one profile will be created otherwise the profile will be controlled it will be affected to your policy so i will go for creating here or there. okay but I, it's very easy to create go here so i just go for microsoft defender endpoint okay i will create policy create microsoft create device configuration profile here or there i will show just to click this one and I will type Microsoft Defender. Whatever the name you need, just type it. Endpoint. Endpoint. So next. Okay. Here the step explicitly telemeter reporting frequency just enable it and block sample sharing for the files if you need to sample share in block with your concern department no need okay otherwise you can configure whatever you need after but this one should be yes because we need to always completely connect our endpoint device to the microsoft depend so next step click the next and scope if you need to add the scope otherwise okay here the step you need to assign this policy you can assign all device and you can assign particular group and you can assign for all user but i have already one group i create one i every time apply my policy to the group base okay. so add group mdm select then next after that create this. click the creation so now the policy will be created uh, you already connected with the microsoft endpoint security to the microsoft defender every step completed after that you log in with your system so assure active directory join from your client database then uh, maybe it take time this may be hours will be take time to display your device to the microsoft endpoint port sorry microsoft defender port after that here after your complete step will be completed then you will go for device here your all the device will be showing list back. then you can check the vulnerability scan and AP and whatever the steps is here you can dashboard recommendation remedies all will be displayed here and you will be get to the proper report so now i will conclude i think you can understand my topic if you have any doubt just comment it please below and thank you for everyone and please subscribe my channel if you like share the video thank you so much